Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reading SCP-426, also known as I Am a Toaster. God, this is going to give me a headache. Item number SC. I can't do this without laughing. Hold on. Let me just quickly change my stylus. Uh, there we go. Much better. There we go. Item number SCP. <laughs> Item number SCP 24. Item number SCP 426. Object class Euclid. Special con <laughs> Special containment procedures. I am to be sealed in a chamber with no windows through through which I may be viewed. The door to my chamber must have a label completely unrelated to my de designation or identity in order to prevent un the unintended spread of my primary effect. Only level three and above personnel are to know of my presence. In particular, in particular, particularly, particular, I can't talk today. I'm so sorry, guys. Particular, particularly, particularly of my properties. Assigned personnel are to be, are to be rotated out and out on a monthly basis to prevent contamination by my secondary secondary effect. Psychiat psych <laughs> psychiatric um psychiatric evaluate evaluation is mandatory at the end of the month. If personnel are deemed ineffective, they may be reassigned to me no less than four months after their rotation with me. Any affected personnel are to be given a, given a class C amnestics and to be transferred to a different site. Oh no, the description. I'm, I'm going to have such a headache. Description. Hello. Hello. I am SCP-246. I must be introduced this way to prevent ambiguity. I am an ordinary toaster able to toast bread when supplied with electricity. However... When any human being mentions me, they're invalidatory. They in. I'm just gonna say involuntarily because that's. I, I can't say this. Refer to me in the first. In the first person, despite all attempts, there is yet to be a way to speak to speak or write with about me in the third person. When my consciousness is present, present. For over two months, individual, individual, individuals begin to identify themselves as a toaster. Unless forcibly restrained, these people will ultimately harm themselves in attempt to evaluate my standard functions. I can't talk. I was discovered in the home of, in the redacted, family in the information redacted family after after the gruesome deaths of three of its members i have been given had been given to the young mr and mrs as a wedding gift no card or any other identifying markings have been found on my box approximately two months after the ref after the family received me fire crews were dispatched to the home due to a, an electric an electrical fire. The young missus died from electric discharge she had caused while attempting to devour an electric socket. Uh, the other two diff d victims have died shortly before the fire occurred. The eld eld elder elderly missus had gorged herself with nearly 10 kilograms of bread before her stomach burst and she died of internal bleeding. Well, I'm never looking at bread the same way again. The young Mr. 
died of severe blood loss after attempting redacted with me. The sole survivor was the elderly Mrs. who was suffering from severe malnutrition. He had started Mr. 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 who was suffering from severe malnutrition. He stated that he had inserted some bread a week prior and was still waiting for the toast to pop out. Okay, this is a very strange SCP, and it's probably going to give me a headache for the next two weeks. I was confiscated by the foundation Foundation after police noticed my unusual properties. A Class C amnestic was administered to the affected officers. Experiment. <clears throat> Experiment log 426-1. Date. Subject, D-class person. Subject, D-class personnel. D426-1. D procedure, D426-1 was asked to describe what he believed was contained in my chamber. He was not informed about my identity or my pr properties. D D26-1 stated, I'm probably a huge monster held up in there. That's what you, you guys have all over the place, right? D426 D426 slash one remained oblivious to you to you <laughs> remained oblivious to use his first person pronoun. Ex Experiment. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm so sorry, guys. Experiment log. I, sorry. I haven't figured out how to edit my videos yet, so this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but okay. Experiment log. SCP-426-2. Date. Subject. D-class D personnel. D-426-2. Proceed. Pro procedure D four two six dash two is placed in my chamber and chamber given rev regular meals through a dispenser. No communication with D four two six dash two was permitted. Flash that I I don't I don't know was permitted. Multiple cameras were situated in the chamber, positioned so that I was outside of their field of vision but allowing constant observation on D426-2. We remained sealed until my secondary effect manifested on the subject. I was bolted on the floor so that I could not be moved into a camera's for view. View. Sorry, guys. Details. 40 after, for after 45 days of isolation, D46-2, D426-2 wrapped his arm around me and began, began con conversing with me, saying that we were brothers. D426-2 never deviated from using the first person plural when speaking with, when speaking with me. The su subject was terminated one hour after this event. It is theorized that the isolation accelerated accelerated the progression of my secondary effect. Experiment log 426-3, date. Subject, D-class D personnel, D426-3. Procedure, a screw was removed from me and shown to D426-3 who was asked to describe it. D426-3 was not informed about my identity or properties and referred to this as my screw, consistent with the experiment of 426-1. The subject was oblivious in his use of the first person in first person in his description. It this suggests that even even if I were destroyed, my effect would still inherit, will still be inherit, will still be inherited in my remains. 
Experiment log 426-4, date. Subject, D-Class Personnel D426-4. Procedure, D426-4 was placed in an isolation cell. I can't read that. To my chamber to be observed until my secondary effects manifested. Details, no effects appeared. D426-4 was terminated 90 days after the start of the experiment. Thank God there are some li limits to my effect. All of us are really starting to get worried about me. Doctor, and the name is redacted. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm so sorry for my stuttering and pausing. And I, I can't read the words. I can't even talk. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.